So in this video, we'll be exploring about scale drawings. So a scale drawing is kind of like a you know a map or something where it's the it actually represents something that's physical and it's either larger or smaller usually smaller um, than the actual well a scale drawing would be smaller than the actual um, image or real item and so they often use scale drawings for like blueprints of houses so here's an example here of a scale drawing um, at the right that shows the first floor of a house and the actual dimensions of the garage are 20 feet by 25 feet. So I'm just going to kind of highlight that I'm looking at this part of the house right here. And it's saying that all angles are right. Um, once again, in traditional houses, they are. I'm very big fond of natural building, which doesn't always have right angles. Um, but for this conventional looking house, um, and it says here that we have the garage on the scale is one inch by one and one quarter. And it's already told us that the actual size is 20 by 25 feet and it's saying okay so how many feet does one inch represent well what I'd like to do is I'd look at this garage and go okay I know it's 20 by 25 so the shorter side one inch must be the 20 feet and this longer side is the 25 feet and so what is the scale 20 feet is represented by one inch on this scale drawing now the next part goes into like what are the lengths, what are the length and width of the living room? Okay, so now I'm looking at the living room on this scale drawing. So I can see that I have uh, two inches, and then this piece here, it's the same as that. So it's two inches by one and one quarter inch. But of course, we really want to know what's happening in reality, which is like how big is the living room. Not so exciting to have a two by one and a quarter inch living room, unless you're like a flea or something. So what are the actual length and width of the living room? So this top is two inches, and we said that one inch was 20 feet. So this would be twice as large, so this would be 40 feet by, and we said that the other one was the same length as the garage, so that was 25 feet. Now you might be wondering, like, when am I ever going to need this? Well, if you ever wanted to get carpet put down or you wanted an area rug for a particular room, you'd want to know how big the dimensions were um, to fit something in. So that's kind of a great application. I've used this in my own personal life many a time, so um, I hope you find